what's up guys it's me and Nico free to one make another tutorial on Tekkit so this one here is how to create infinite energy on Tekkit yep infinite energy it's using this really weird contraption so basically it converts the build craft the electricity thing where you've got the geothermal generators and you've also got EMC here so basically, the idea is, firstly, um, well, let me start from the beginning. If you want to create this, you have to use the fact that there's one of these here, a volcanic amulet. Wait one second, this is too slow for me. Pipe, golden transport, <laughs> 76, boop, boop, boop. So basically, the idea is, you get redstone coming out from here, which goes through the pipework, into this, into the deployer. For the, the deployer has a volcanic amulet in it, which is very, very costly to make. I'll explain how to make it this all in a second, don't worry. Don't start building it now without me actually explaining it to you. So, and then this is powered by this, which has 0 0.75 second time interval which furthermore goes the la then the lava goes into here from here lava goes into the lava goes into the pump which is powered by these redstone engines doesn't have to be redstone engines it can be any engine you want I just do redstone engines because they don't explode and I can just leave them on forever from here it goes through the lava goes through the pipe into the geothermal generator which takes it up and produces energy this was zero when I started the tutorial by the way so basically that's the main layout of the actual play, actual thing this is probably going to help you a lot if you like making really big machinery I mean I sort of don't <laughs> I'm just saying that I mean you can, you can use if you you can make this even bigger if you wanted to like if I just um, <coughs> you can dupli duplicate this over and over and over I mean if I show you on my multiplayer I mean this is gonna lag me a ton I get 15 FPS when I go by right this is the one which is on my multiplayer which was the undigit version I'm getting 9 FPS uh... this is gonna go so da down so low it's gonna be worth it you can see what I do in my spare time Oh, this doesn't work, by the way, but this does. This is going to lag 7 FPS. <laughs> so basically, as you can see, I made it bigger. This is only one half of it. If I show you, the other half is down there. So basically, it got it, uh, it emits redstone, which goes through here. Sorry about the extreme lag. It's not my fault. It's this thing's fault. So yeah, it's my fault and it sends it into the deployers which goes into the things and it is the exact it's the exact same layout except bigger oh and i forgot to tell you one thing sometimes you will get really full as you can see there so they drop down the obsidian transport pipe picks it up and yeah oops let me fly why did it let me fly whatever so um and here's the other half this the other half is a lot more cleaner it's not more tidy i can barely see a thing through this so yeah pumps go into there which send the redstone on its way here this is the, basically the main part of it from here the lava gets pumped it massive amount of lava gets pumped into all these geothermal generators i think it's about twenty of them in there this is all legit by the way, surprisingly, which powers up all these five MFSUs. I made it all in 24 hours. Oh well, so that, that's that's showing what you can do to make it big, huge. You could change it as size as much as you like. So, how do you make it? That's the big question. What? Um, I'm gonna get a few things first. Energy condenser, glowstone. What's this? There. 
So yeah, you start with your energy. It's right going to be. It's right there, by the way. So you start with your energy condenser. You place glowstone or whatever, like that. From there, you play. You don't don't place your emitter yet because then you just get too much redstone in there. So it kind of gets annoying. Yeah, then you place your, of course, you place your redstone up there, so it's ready. I'm gonna probably forget this halfway. <laughs> I know that much just happened to me so many times. Engine, I'm going to create a redstone engine. Put it. Oh god. And I'm not going to explain how this works. By the way, I mean how to create all this stuff because if you want to find out how to make any of this stuff, go into the wiki. Or press Q, go to options and change it to utility mode. Where, if, for example, if I want to, I want to find how to make a co an energy condenser. I click it, and it shows us four obsidian, four diamond, and an alchemy chest, which is made up of all this stuff. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, no, I'm kind of a douche doing that. Anyhow, <coughs> oh god. So if I go and do a stone damn it, I'm trying to put cheap my pack on. A stone transport pipe. You oh wait, a gold transport pipe also if you want to make it faster I do because I am god damn don't like don't like watching slow stuff going past, I like watching stuff whiz everywhere. Because it's crazy. Like me. Pipe now you need to you need to place an iron pipe here and I'll explain later what why and make sure it's pointing out. It's based. Uh, I'll explain it fully why, but to start off the explanation, it's something to do with safety, sort of, to a certain extent. That sounded weird. Yeah, I know. Oh well. So you don't need this. You don't need that. You might want to keep your pause on these two. Uh, a few more of these, by the way. I'm not going to give you any exact amount of how to match the it because it's the simplest version. It's just a bare minimum of how to of what to make it. Oh yeah, you have to place the pump there, and I would recommend just starting the pump up because it will soon grow green and stuff like that, so it gets really fast. <coughs> From here, you want to now create a deployer. Oh god, a deployer. The deployer will now be rested <laughs> I am going by a full reference of this I feel like such I feel like I've not made it but I did weird and so you place the deployer so it's facing outwards and break the block in front of it the reason why is because this is going to be where the block the empty space is where the lava is going to be so now you get a volcanic amulet and you place it up here. The thing, and from here, you now go into place with a tr truck of redstone here. Just gonna take this redstone. Take this redstone. And line up from here. And now you need to make it, make a timer. The timer gets placed there. It doesn't need to be exactly like this, by the way. Uh, but the idea is that whenever the timer goes by, it opens, and basically this thing here, its essential job is to right-click. For example, if I want, if I take this out, it's like you know, when I right-click, the torch comes out. So if I place this in here, the torch will come out. Bit nifty, isn't it? So basically, <coughs> oh god, sorry. You place that there. Next thing you want to do is create a pump. Yum pumps. <laughs> that sounded weird. Very very weird. I'm very weird. From there you add some. You add the engines all around, but leave the top open because we're going to be using that to get out, take out the lava. Oops, I wasn't supposed to throw them away. <laughs> Sorry. Just put these back. New walls, stone, correct? Yep. Doesn't make a difference though for the. And basically, from here, you make a 
stone or cobblestone, whichever one you prefer, it doesn't make a difference for me. Well, I haven't seen any difference other than the fact that they don't connect to each other, and cobblestone ones are cheaper to make than the other one. You line it out, you send it into here, where you place a geotherm geothermal generate generator generator. Boop. So now you've created all the stuff that will actually produce the power. You could do it from here onwards. You can connect it right straight to straight to a appliance, anything really. I'm just gonna for for this. I'm just gonna connect it to an MFSU so I can show you how much power this really creates. So you do this. You shift to click it. You do shift click. If you're complete, you're new to Tekka, and you want to know how to how I play stuff instead of going into it. You shift and then click. I mean, look how much power this is brought. This is brought already. Two hundred and five thousand. God damn it! <laughs> so from here, you will now place the uh, thingies. God damn it! I'm that thingies doesn't help, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. You place a collector. It doesn't have to be Mark III, but I play. I like Mark III because it's Mark III. Deal with it. <laughs> so there you go. You've just created infinite energy. Yay! So now this, as you can see, redstone comes through here, slots into there, which places lava into there, which then gets pumped up by the pump. Which goes through this this tube into the geothermal generator, which goes into your appliance. It's, it's happy day, finally. I mean, look, that's flashing scarily, but I'm going to ignore the scary flashes and say that this is perfectly normal. <laughs> I'm not worried at all. So, if you want to, you can just spam a few more next to it. Doesn't really make any difference. Like. You, you want to place it there, you do that, and basically this is the easiest part. <laughs> well, if you take away the fact that you have to create every single one of these things if you're playing legitly, and if you're not, then it's still the easiest thing. I mean, look, all of them are connected, and look how much power we're making. From this, you can probably put anything you want. Not literally anything, but a lot of stuff that you want to put on. So, how did I do this originally? I mean, as you can see, I can easily duplicate that, but with this design, I cannot duplicate this. I'm going to ignore this, and this is exactly pretty much what I've done. Um, that's that's basically one of the, basically the thing which I've done. Yeah, I'm saying basically a lot, aren't I? I just stopped doing that. The idea is that's better. That I play place the deployer there. And then I place another deployer there. And I just keep repeating this pattern on and on, right? And the way I send a current down, if I... I just place a, no, one of these repeaters, which, which faces backwards. Has to be facing backward, not that. But backwards, towards this block. Has to be facing backwards, or else it won't work with the timer here. Um, just do one second. Three, two, one, which then powers all of them. Look, see, it powers all of them, and that's how you link it up. So you just send it. Then you set up your pump system. Yeah, I enjoy. I like Tekken actually. If you, um. Then you just set up your pump system there, which all of them get linked up together here. I'm not going to bother to actually do any of the actual proper wiring, but you can see it's the exact same thing, except now all I have to do is instead of having it so it comes straight off there, the thing that comes off is from here, which goes all the way down there, etc, etc. If you want to do more of these, all you do really is um, set this back a little bit further, and simply all you do is um, place two of these here. Oh God, I need to clear my inventory, don't I? Yes, I do. Yeah, I really want to. Basically, 
Uh, don't say basically again. God damn it, boy! You place your energy condenser there. You do this, 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 that, this, that, that, this, that. That doesn't help at all. If I just hurt my head quite a bit, just saying that. Okay, pipe. I'm just trying to type pump for some reason. Um, which goes into there, which sends it off, and just duplicate this over and over. You place this one here. You place one here. You set it off. It goes to this. And there you go. You've suddenly got multiple ones of these, which you could then link up to these, which is by simply... There we go. <laughs> And that's pretty much the majority of this, that's pretty much the whole thing done. If you enjoyed this video and really liked it, please hit the like button. If you found this helpful and you really want to help me, hit a favorite and subscribe, because trust me, I will feel really small here. Anyhow, this is me, Oniko321. Hope you found this really weird tutorial, which wasn't actually planned at all, helpful. This is me, Oniko321. Signing out. Peace out.